From Soldiers Radio and Television, this is the Army Today, a daily feature from around the globe. Hey, I find Livorno the Eagle 318. I'm not riding solo. Many of us owe our livelihoods to Guglielmo Marconi and his contribution to the discovery of wireless radio transmission. What's even more amazing is that some of his key experiments took place at a site in Coltano, Italy, which is only about six kilometers from Camp Darby. So he ran multiple tests and learned that, you know, signals would actually bounce off of the ionosphere and stratosphere uh, and more of, of a waveform and that you could actually receive those type of communications from farther distances. And his theory was proven right. In the early 1970s, the U.S. Army received permission to stand up a signal unit in Coltano, just about three kilometers from the old Marconi laboratory. The significance of the location was not lost on one Camp Darby commander, so we had a monument dedicated to Marconi's achievements. In 2008, the U.S. Army officially turned the facility back to the Italian government, but the monument remained just outside the fence line until this past March. When, when we finally got everything coordinated to actually move it and we brought it back over here, it was in pretty bad shape. Uh, a lot of the lettering and stuff you couldn't read, uh, there was some... Uh, uh, some type of moss or something growing on it. Uh, as you can see in the video, they, uh, they did a real careful job cleaning it and restoring it, and I think it, uh, it looks really good right now. Maloney says the monument will remain adjacent to the 509th Signal Battalion office on Leghorn Army Depot and invites those with an affiliation to the Signal Corps or even the old Coltano site to stop by and see a piece of history. Marisa Gaona, Leghorn Army Depot, Italy. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television.